Welcome to a walkthrough of one of Cisco Talos' newest tools, GIDA, an IDA Pro plugin that integrates into the GIDA decompiler in IDA. To run GIDA, press Ctrl-Alt-D or click on Decompile Function with GIDA in the context menu. GIDA requires either a local installation of GIDRA or GIDROS, the GIDRA server. You can find the instructions on how to install and run GIDROS on the project's GitHub page. The first time you execute the plugin, use the configuration dialog to enter the path of the local Ghidra installation or the URL of Ghidras. You will be able to change the settings at any time using the Ghidra settings under the Edit menu. Depending on the function, the decompilation process takes a few seconds. When it's done, the decompiled code will appear in a new IDA view. For the best user experience, move the decompiler view side to side with the IDA graph view. In the default configuration, the decompiler view is synchronized with the IDA's graph view. So when you navigate through different functions, the decompiler view is automatically updated. However, you can disable the synchronization using the corresponding option in the context menu. If you navigate to a function that is not yet decompiled, simply run GIDA and wait for it. Now, let's see if some of the features available in the decompiler view. If you select a symbol, such as a function name, press N to rename it. The new name will be automatically updated in the graph view. When possible, rename the symbols in the decompiler view rather than the graph view. Otherwise, the function must be decompiled one more time to see the changes. Then, if you double-click over a function, you can navigate through the code in the same way you usually do in IDA. You can also add comments in the decompiler view. Just select a line and press colon or use the context menu. Comments will be displayed only in this view at the end of the selected line. Like the decompiled code, comments are cached too, and when you navigate through the functions, they will be automatically shown. Comments will also persist if the same function is decompiled multiple times. In the GIDA configuration, there is an option to save the comments and decompiled code to a file when the IDA project is closed. They will be available the next time you open the same IDB. Some updates in the assembler code may require the function to be decompiled again. First, remove the decompiled code from the cache using the clear cache option in the context menu. Then, run GIDA one more time to decompile it. That's it. Thank you very much for using our new tool.